The finalists are in and the condoms of the future are on their way. Here are the new condoms you might expect to see in the next few years. Hey folks, Lacey Green here for D News. Throughout the past 60 or so years, birth control for women has changed, evolved, and improved dramatically. But for men, not so much. The good old male condom has been essentially the same in form since the late 15th century. Those poor suckers need an upgrade. And I'm not alone in that sentiment. If you've been hanging out with us here on D News for a while, you might remember a few months ago, I made a video announcing the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation was holding a contest, $100,000 for the person or group that designs a new condom for the 21st century. Although condoms are still one of the most effective ways to prevent STIs and pregnancy in a hurry, there are still some downsides. The most common complaints are that it doesn't fit right, has a plasticky feeling, there's a lack of accessibility, and that they can sometimes diminish the sensation. So now the contest is closed and they've given the grants to 11 different groups. So let's take a look at what the winners came up with. First up, wrap your meat with some meat. Beef tendon condoms, everyone. The folks at Apex Medical Technologies decided to use collagen fibers from beef tendon to produce a condom that feels a lot more like skin than latex does. The lead developer of the prototype says that he first began investigating this alternative during the height of the AIDS epidemic in the 80s, and that he bought the beef from a local Chinese store, which, yeah, might sound kind of weird, but in practice, it means that the condom may be easy to produce because collagen is cheap and it's widely available across the world. This condom to me is oddly reminiscent of the lambskin condoms that already exist, but instead of feeling like a slimy bag, it will reportedly have much better texture and fit and protect against STIs as well. Another condom design which received a grant was made out of an ultra-thin polyurethane polymer that uses something the University of Oregon researchers are calling shape memory. When the material is heated, like it would be during sex, it contracts and acts as a sort of shrink wrap. The result is a condom that takes the shape of the person's penis. The material is also half the thinness of the thinnest condom on the market right now and twice as strong. And to protect against sexually transmitted infections and diseases, the condoms are embedded with antimicrobial nanoparticles. I must say, of the designs I read about, this is my personal favorite. Yet another design takes polyethylene condoms, a type that's already in use in about eight countries, including Colombia, and changes the way it's put on. Instead of unwrapping the condom, pinching the tip, and rolling down, it'll have tabs on the side, which enable you to pull it on kind of like a sock. It's a little unclear to me how this one serves the objectives of improving pleasure availability and usage of condoms, or how they resolve the issue of pinching the tip to make sure the sperm reservoir doesn't pop, but it does look like it might be a promising new way to put them on all the same. So guys, do you think that you would use any of these or are they a little too weird for you? Let me know down below and we'll see you again soon.